Welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and today we'll be going to Kashyyyk because we just finished up on Tatooine um, but first before we take off we're going to actually talk to our crewmates here help? starting with Bastila. Uh, I'd like to know more about you Bastila. Yes I suppose I can understand your curiosity given the bond that connects us. Very well. I'll tell you a bit about myself. Tell me how you joined the Jedi. I was found to be strong with the Force at a young age as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the Order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Tal Ravan, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last that I heard. I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. So the Jedi separate children from their families. Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst, but even love can lead to folly. You aren't allowed to love? Emotional entanglements can be dangerous. They can impair rational thought. They can lead to outbursts of uncontrolled emotion. A Jedi must be above such things. You don't sound very convinced. It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. Who weren't you on good terms with? I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She whittled away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. You never tried to get in touch with your father again? The child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Once I was older, I realized the wisdom of this policy. A Jedi must do what is needed, personal desires notwithstanding. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. But if a Jedi were to love, surely it wouldn't be all bad. Or you sound very sad when you say that. Even a Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. But some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. Hmm, Alright. Uh, not too concerned with Karth. Let's go talk to uh, Handers. Yeah, what do you want? Tell me about your war stories. You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted, eh? I knew you were the type. Your stagnant republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the Outer Rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. What do you mean? If a world isn't strong enough to defend itself, it's basically forfeit. But this story is about something a little different. We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells, and the pirates were using them for cover. <laughs> I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew out and shredded the three smugglers using it for cover. But that was a mistake. Why? What happened? The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most, maybe a dozen meters on a side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other, just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something must have been inside it something inactive in the cold the heat of my blast might have triggered something or woken something up after i'd hit it spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell still covering it evaporating the gases what lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth a deformed rock pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars i think something even older might have been inside that What happened next? 
It started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire. Thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. A ship. We couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. Uh, that's the only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something else you want to know? No, that's your choice. For now. I'm here if you want. What about HK? Statement. HK 47 is ready to serve, Master. All right, I want to try restoring some more of your memory. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, request. I own. Statement. As. But I need those circuits, Master. The supplication. All right, so we need a. Uh, need more repair before we can get him up anymore. But let's get on the uh, road here. Kill it. Let's go on and get to Kashik now. Another vision. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. Kashek is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. The light star map was on the forest floor. The Wookiees of Kashek make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only the bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Alright, so let's get on to it now. I guess we should take Zalbar with us since we're at on caching. So let's take our meat bag slayer and Zalbar. Or should we take Andrus? Nah, Zalbar's fine for now. I think, and then we're gonna swap for Basila. Oh, 
Greetings to you. While I am pleased to welcome you to planet G5623, I do not see your ship on my docking schedule. The Zerka Corp will see to your needs, of course, but there will be a 100 credit docking fee in advance up here. Don't make the bands. I'm nomad and I land where I wish. I respect your obvious determination, but I can't allow you to remain unless you pay the proper fees. The Zerka Corp appreciates your cooperation and hopes it will not devolve into a violent matter. Force persuade him to say we don't need the fee. Perhaps you don't need to pay the docking fee. Any services you need will more than make up for it. I see you have a Wookiee with you. Can I assume you understand your language? For a fee, Zerka can provide a translator for you during your visit. I understand more than you can. Very well. There's no concern of mine. I will simply assume you are one of the rare sort that take to languages easily. Now then, please follow me to our information center. I will answer any further questions there. I don't want to follow you, dude. Alright, so we got any crates around this stock? Kashik, my home. I should have prepared you for coming here, but I don't know if I've prepared myself. A little late for warnings, Furball. Don't mock me. This is hard. Mission may have told you I was taken from here by slavers, but there is more. I am an exile. The slavers on Kashik only took me after I was forced to leave my village home 20 years ago. Why were you forced to leave? My brother made deals with the slavers and allowed them to get a foothold. I found out and attacked him. The fight was stopped, but my father did not believe me when I told him about my brother's actions. I was made in exile, disowned by my own by my home and people. I should not be here. They will not accept me back. Why didn't your father believe you? When I attacked my brother, I was so mad. I used my claws. You don't understand what that means to a Wookiee. Our claws are tools, not weapons. To use them in battle is to become an animal. It is a madness without honor. I am forever a mad claw in the eyes of my people. Nothing I say is to be trusted. They were right to cast me out. deal with that if we have to. Let's go. I don't have much hope. You don't have to have hope. We'll just kill anybody that argues. Greetings to you. Something I can get for you? Kindly direct your inquiries to me. Matten is merely an indebted employee. His opinions don't amount to much. So, new spaces have come to Wild Kashik. Please, look well upon the wares of Eli Gand. I live to serve your needs. Just be sure to pay cash. The interest on his loans will drain you like a diluvian fatworm on a hut's backside. First off, hearts are all backside. Secondly, I don't much like the comparison. No need to get personal. It's just business, poor fellow. He's been waiting for his friends to return with my money for a standard month now. Ah, uh, but you don't need to hear this. What can I get you? Let me see what you carry. Of course. You're in a hut.
so nothing there. in a cage. Let's talk to this Jano see you again. Greetings again, how can Zerka serve you during your visit to Yudin? Tell me about the planet you called it the G5 before. The galactic basic name is the Dean, chosen by corporate ballot among stockholders. It would seem you are already acquainted with this world, given your choice of traveling companion. I have been away for a very long time. If you let the beast speak for you, you allow it more liberties than most of our customers. Allow it more liberties, what do you mean? It means that they are slavers. They take my people from their homes and sell them to the highest bidder. Your current Wookiee seems to squeeze with the situation, but I fail to see a concern. You seem to be a satisfied customer. Hmm. Zalbar is no slave. He has pledged a life debt to me. Ah, very difficult thing to stage. I commend you for it. So much easier than relying on restraining collars. Do not demean the life debt. Do not. I must warn you that you will be blamed for the actions of your Wookiee. Please, call him off. Why? I should let him kill a lot of you. I am merely a servant of the corporation, but Wookiee leadership is in agreement. Harvesting is made as delicate as possible. Commentary. The meatbag speaks without clarity. Detailed disagreement, or the master will splatter your organs all over the floor. Now there's a... there's no call for that. It's a simple matter, really. We simply arm... we supply arms in exchange for a supply of healthy Wookiees. We are kept profitable and an agreeable leader is kept in power. It keeps the process from becoming a constant firefight. What is this leader's name? I believe his name is Chundar. I don't deal directly with him. Thank goodness. Far too brutish. Grr, that was not a name I wanted to hear. It sounds as though your crawl has an opinion about our arrangement with this leader, but it doesn't matter. Chundar is unquestioned. What about it, Zalbar? This is not something I will talk about. Not yet. Please, is there anything else I have work to do? I'm through for now. Hmm. Alright, Chundar. Hold here, Spacer. Zerka Corporation doesn't recommend traveling in wild Adean. Katarn attacks are especially bad right now. Wookiee hunters usually keep numbers down, but I think they leave certain areas infested, just hoping a Zerka guard will get killed. Don't get in my way, you'll wind up dead. I don't take kindly to threats. Don't test me, Spacer. We've more than enough firepower to bury you here. You haven't warned me. I'm a nice person. You like me. Ah, you ain't so bad. Was there anything else you needed? I'm going past you. I paid the landing fee. I won't stop you. 
But you leave this area at your own risk. We're here to protect the company, not you. All right, so slavers think that this place is called Adian. And we'll keep our slaves. sense it? The wind, the sound, the smells. I feel it all now that we are away from the spaceport. This walkway is new, probably built by the slavers, but I remember the trees. My village is not far from here. We're here for the star map. Nothing else. Understood. Yes, your outsider concerns must always come first. Just remember that this was my home. You are the stranger here. I must warn you of one thing. I don't know if I will be a help or a hindrance to you here. My father was very powerful, a chieftain. Perhaps his feelings have mellowed, but if my brother had his ear this whole the whole time, I may be very unwelcome. Well, we know that the, the person's name is Chundar, so is that your father? I don't have time for your family squabbles. We'll deal with that when the time comes. That is what I am dreading. My shame was meant to be forgotten in some faraway world. I never thought I'd come back home. I'm sorry, I've taken enough of your time. We should press on. This isn't good. I can't afford this. You think I can? Do you know what they get for a healthy one of those things? We'll work it out later. We've got company. What do you want, Spacer? I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you're interrupting Zerka Corporation business. Just hurry up and tell me what happened. This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down. We put it down? We're not animals. Making mad, Zalbar. I bet it does. What are you getting at? Do you want these men dead? I would not need much encouragement. Do it. Kill them. We'll make them pay. Do it. What? Blasters ready, men. This fool wants to die. Cover this with your demolition skill. I doubt he can, but maybe. Skill too low. Alright. So let's uh, swap out HK. Oh, can't do it. What? But we can level up though. Demolition. Let's give him two demolition. That might get him up high enough. Well, heck, Zalvar's got ten demolition. Just use Zalvar.
Didn't even have to level him up. See a Wookiee over here. You are not permitted to pass into the Shadowlands. Only Chundar may allow you entry. Especially when you bring filth such as this with you. This mad claw has no place here. Who are you to question my place? You follow Chundar into the arms of outsiders. And yet you travel with outsiders yourself. Speak no more. Chundar will decide if you are permitted to enter the Shadowlands. What was that about? Um, where is this Wookiee I need to see? Speak with Chundar in the village of Ruror. He will decide if you are worthy. Alright, see it's into this attack in here. Oh, what the heck? They just stopped moving. Oh, boy, you taking a beat, man. But it, we do need to level him up, too. So let's go and level him up. Toughness. Okay, we got 
got up to here in a minute. Let's see, supply station. Alright, so that ID card that we got off killing that other guy, he, uh, we can use it here to loot the uh, supplies. So, they're all unlocked, it looks like. Not bad, little bit of goods. Destroy motion sensors. Alright. And we got us um, more Dark Jedi here. So we got everybody here. Let's move on in. On. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Alright, well that won't be you. Take out this guy since he's attacking HK. Yes, First set of dark Jedi couldn't beat me. What makes you think y'all can? Got another dark Jedi Knight Rogue. Waiting on find the Jedi Master Rogue. Short blades. Alright. Just keep on moving forward. Let's level up to. Take uh, two repair. Yep, to your bed. There's Nubia Night Sense. We're all the way up on toughness. You can get a plus one attack bonus with lightsabers. Or we can do conditioning. I think I want to do conditioning. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with conditioning. Set that in powers. We're going to get dominate mine. So that persuasion. All right. And that's what we're going to call it for today, guys, uh, before we go into the Wookiee Village. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.